Welcome, welcome back to the Double RT Boxing Show with your host, Mr. A. That is I. A post fight recap. And Josh Taylor becomes the first man to stop Miguel Vasquez in a very, very entertaining fight. Back and forth action. Um, I did have uh, Taylor win in this fight up until the ninth round. I had him about including the ninth round six rounds of three um I, I like that although miguel vasquez was landing a lot of shots um taylor was still landing his own which was more um meaningful shots <clears throat> i said going into the breakdown vasquez don't hit hard he just hits often and in this fight, it showed he was going in and out, side to side, coming in with a, a lunging uppercut. All those things were landing on Taylor, but Taylor was answering right back. And then when Taylor answered, Vasquez answered right back. So at no point was this a domination. It was just Taylor won because he was winning rounds up until the ninth round stoppage. It was a, a beautiful performance. You know, everyone kept saying, you know, the, pro, uh, the problem Vasquez is going to pr promote. You know, he's going to have all that movement, all that movement. So Taylor just start investing the buy. I say, in the prediction, I said it was going to take an 11th round knockout. You know, it happened two rounds earlier. It happened in the ninth. But the, the body work, the body work is what I said. He's going to start working the body, slowing Vasquez down. And then from there, he was going to land a clean shot. I thought the clean shot was going to be a head shot when he comes rushing in. Mm -hmm. Vasquez rushed in and caught a body shot. I think that's what helped. That's what added the extra oomph to that um, body shot. Although Taylor was landing from the, through, the, through the whole fight, but like the round five, six, seven, he started really digging into that body. Around seven, uh, you could tell it was a, a little frustration brewing. He, he had Vasquez in the head, like kind of like little little cheap shots. But that's what I like about Taylor as well. Although he's, to me, A to Z talented, he still has a little attitude to him. Like, I don't care how, what the uh, popularity I have. I don't care what people think my skills are. I'm a still a little, I'm a little, uh, a hole in the ring. He's he's the pro, he's the right amount of a hole, you know, pro, right the proper amount of arse in the ring. You want to see a, a true fighter be. He's polished, jabs, uppercuts, tremendous body work, and what was see a lot of people put failed to put in the factor that yes, Miguel moves around the ring very well but josh taylor is a tall linky guy and with those wide steps he was able to really cut the ring distance quite quickly you know miguel vasquez wasn't used to someone moving around that ring that fast on him so he was he was able to get to miguel quick with those wide steps and just pressure him pressure him with body shots the round one all the way to round nine back and forth action body shots for body shots jabs for jabs miguel was i told you miguel, miguel he comes he, and then he'll lean he lean forward with an uppercut a, a, a lunging uppercut it, 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 it was catching uh it was catching taylor in the stomach uh hooks to the head uh it was a second round head bunt an accidental head bunt you know Vasquez come, like the Vasquez here, move around the ring, get himself, and then he just comes in. It's, it's an untimely lunge and att attack, and it, it, uh, he missed his punch and he, he followed through, uh, hit Taylor right on the head, so it gave him a pretty good gash. Luckily, it wasn't nothing like over the eye. It was kind of like right in here. But, uh, I believe that's like second time I seen Taylor get cut. So he gets cut. That might be a future problem down the line, just a, a lot of his scar tissue reopening up. So that might be something that might hinder his career in the future. Kind of like a um, Gabe Rosado. 
<laughs> it's just like just scar tissue too much scar tissue always popping up on them so um that was a really good fight i was i was happy to see that back and forth action a good a good showing for uh taylor and that being the 140 and then with jose ramirez knocking out mike reed last night that's gonna it's setting up a nice little possible showdown because you figure jose ramirez and Amiri mom got a title eliminator for the wbc and they could do all they want in those eliminators but taylor holding that silver we all know silvers get those title shots so if it's a vacant belt and it's the winner of that Emery mom and jose ramirez versus Josh Taylor, the silver, for that vacant WBC belt. I can tell you right now, Josh Taylor would destroy Emir Imam. I would, I would like to see the fight because I want to see what Emir Imam can do. He's going to have to really work on defense because I believe he has the hand speed to punch with Taylor. But I don't know if he's going to have the grip to withstand a fight with Taylor. Now, Ramirez and Taylor, that is going to be a fight. That will be a hell of a fight, fight. Jose Ramirez and Josh Taylor has a, has a high possibility of happening, too. Like I said, Josh Taylor with this silver, he's going to fight for that uh, vacant WBC belt before the 2018 year is over. I, I'm pretty much... I could pretty much put money on that one. That's the way the rules always go. So I won't, like I said again, I will not be surprised if Taylor, within his next fight or the next two fights, fights the winner of Ramirez and uh, a, a Mary Mom for the banking belt. So once again, a post-fight recap. Josh Taylor with a beautiful, methodical, breakdown of Miguel Vasquez you know he, he tracked him around the ring they traded blow for blow uh, he was able to use his long spider steps to trap Miguel Vasquez against the ropes work the body take away that gas and eventually in the ninth round as Miguel was trying to trade he, Miguel came rushing in he rushed right into a body shot and just took, went down. He, he went down to the point where, not to like a knee, like, oh, it hurt. Yeah, the punch did hurt, but he did that kind where you, you squat down, you put your hands on the floor like, I'm tired. <sighs> and he just never got up. Like I said, when, when fighters get hurt, they usually take a knee and like, Ugh. Uh, you know. We didn't see none of that from a mask. It was just like, okay, it hurt, but he just stayed down like his hands on the mat like, I'm tired. It hurt, but I am tired. You, you, you could see in round eight, uh, Vasquez's movement was a little bit a step behind, but his face, you know, his, his shoulders were like just starting to get real heavy on him. And then round nine, body shot. He was tired. Tremendous job. The McG McWiggin camp is looking good. Cyclone Promotions. Thumbs up for Cyclone Promotions, right? You got... Taylor, you got Chantel. About to go watch the other ones. I know Leather won, but about to go watch that one. Cyclone Promotions, McWiggins. Thumbs up.